And welcome back, everybody, to WTL. Where's the line? I'm your host, Andy Class, and joined by Gibran, the Parlay Pounder. <laughs> yes, sir, we're back. <laughs> yes, we are. And you know, we got to get into some college football. Yeah, big Saturday. Yeah, let's talk about some Big Ten, some Big 12 schools. Yeah. And let's just get right into it. Why not? Ohio State. Huge, huge favorite, and why not? They are just steamrolling everybody right now. In the yes, they are. They are 15.5-point favorites, and it's on the road going to <clears throat> Beaver Stadium to take on the Nittany Lions of Penn State. That is the big noon kickoff on Fox. Yeah, Andy, that's pretty crazy to see a 15.5-point favorite going in on the road yeah. to the number 13 team in the nation. Jeez. But that is just what Ohio State is. Yeah. Number two in the nation, yep. you know, could be made a case to be number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, they would have to play in a little better conference, I believe, I guess. Uh, stacking up. <laughs> there is just not <laughs> enough consistent Penn State pass rush to bother C.J. Stroud in this one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Michigan was yeah. able to beat the Nittany Lions by grinding it out, and eventually the dam broke with 25 unanswered Wolverine points in the second half. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be a little bit like that, Andy. Yeah. Uh, I think the energy of the crowd and the excitement in Beaver Stadium is going to kind of keep Penn State alive yeah, until yeah. the third quarter. Okay, But I, I think with Stroud pretty much being able to do what he wants to do in the passing game yeah. late, and then kind of that, oh, uh, Ohio State offensive line taking over late. They're they're, they're yeah. just going to pound them. I, I'm I'm looking at this one. Ohio State forty, Penn State twenty three. Yeah. Just eclipsing that over under of sixty and a half. I'm not worried about this over under. I'm not the over under, but the the, the spread. Yeah. With Ohio State it doesn't matter. They just roll. They steamroll. They can win by two touchdowns. They can win by three touchdowns. It doesn't matter to this team. Right. I was looking at some power rankings as far as receivers. You know Trey Palmer Jr. <laughs> yeah. He's number one. The next two, two and three <laughs> are receivers from Ohio. Yeah. How they're do you, Buckeyes. Whatever. My God. Yeah. And right now that that over under you're talking about six mm-hmm. I'm looking at sixty one consensus, you know, yeah. you know, average of a yep. few books here. Yep. You're still having ninety one percent of the money come in on the over. Oh, for sure. So that's gonna keep getting bet. Up, yeah. The no, closer if, you get to kickoff, if, if you think that this is going to hit sixty, yeah, yeah, bet it now because it could get up to 62, 63 yeah. by the time this kicks off on uh, Big Fox. There, yes, sir. All right, let's uh, head on over to the Big Twelve. This is a really good matchup. Here. Yeah, Oklahoma State's going on the road to play Kansas State, two ranked teams, number nine versus number twenty-two, where we have the twenty-second ranked Wildcats as the favorite here. One and a half points. That's a 230 kick on Fox. Yeah, Andy. Uh, I, there's just too many question marks for me right uh-huh. here for K State. Okay. Is, is Adrian Martinez ready to go? Is he going to play? We went through this for three years. Is he going to play? Is he good? Is he aware? All that kind of stuff. I just mm-hmm. think there are too mm-hmm. many question marks around the playmakers for me to feel confident in picking them right now, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Oklahoma State hung around and found a way to beat Texas last yes, weekend. They did. And if anything, yes, I have confidence that they can do that again. Kansas State is certainly capable of winning this game, Andy. Right. Uh, if you know their, de- their defense has been playing really, really good and mm-hmm. can force probably a couple turnovers from Spencer Sanders. Sure. Uh, I just like Oklahoma State right now to come in with Mike Gundy and the boys and do a little mini upset here. You know there what I mean? Go. I do too. And they're the higher ranked team, so it's not that much of an upset. No, it's one and a half right now. Yeah. And the last six games, they are five and one Oklahoma State is yeah. uh, against the spread. So I, I like uh, the old Cowboys going on the road here as well. The only reason Ohio or Oklahoma State was able to um, kind of give it to Texas last week was because yeah. I was done betting against Texas. Yeah, exactly. That's what it was. That's what it was. So yeah, that, they got the they got the Andy bump on that one. Yeah, horns down. So yeah, horns down. <laughs> Congratulations, Oklahoma State. That was all me on. Yes, that. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, let's dive back. Let's hop back to the Big Ten here. A little bit of a rivalry game here. Yep. Um, I think it's going to see more action than what it maybe would if it was not a rivalry For game. For sure. That is the Michigan State Spartans. Huge, huge underdogs uh, against the Michigan Wolverines. 23-point yep. dogs is what I'm looking at. That's a 630 kickoff on ABC. Yeah, Andy, 23-point uh, uh, favorite for the Wolverines. They're number seven in the country, se- uh, number four in the country, seven and zero. Oh, Andy, yeah. over under sitting at fifty five points. I, uh, I I don't really know what to say other than this just has to be for Michigan State to have a chance in this. This has to be just another one of their fluke. We lose to everybody except 
Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> and Michigan's, you know, fluke that we beat everybody yeah. except for Michigan State. Uh, I, I'm I th- not betting on that. I'll no, tell you that right I, now. No. Um, the Spartans maybe get hot in the first quarter. M- you know, Michigan could sputter yeah. out of the gate, cough up a, you know, a turnover here or there. Uh-huh. But midway through the second quarter, this one is going to get yeah. Fast. It's going to be fast paced for the Michigan Wolverines. Yeah, yeah. Looking to put points up. I, I'm looking at you know probably like 45 to 17 win for the Wolverines. Every once in a while, Michigan or Michigan State gets an opportunity yes. to really put it to their in-state rival. Yes. And this looks like one of those times for Michigan. I agree. And they're going to take full advantage. I'm not afraid of the 23 point spread. I'm not seeing anything from Michigan State that I could bet on. No. No. I'm a little hesitant on that over under at 55. Because right now you're looking at close to 100% of the money is being put in on the over. Right. So uh, I think that's – I when those that, – that means all the public money. That means the, the sharps. Yeah. You know, everybody's <laughs> pouring in on that 55. So if you like that, you better get it on now because it's going to skyrocket here. Yeah. I, Every uh, day it gets yeah, closer. Yeah, I had it at a couple days ago at 53 and a half, Andy. Yeah. Um, but I just – I do think 55 is still doable. Yeah. Um, this Wolverines team just came out in the second half and went 41 to 17 against Penn State. Yeah, yeah. And Penn State has a lot better defense, just a right. lot better team yes. than Michigan State. So yeah. I don't see 55 being a problem. Uh yeah, the Wolverines are going to roll in this one. And Michigan's 7 and 0 straight up. So if you want to just kind of do a money line bet with terrible odds, yeah. I guess, yeah, you throw know, them in a parlay, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, there's there's worse things out there. Yeah, there is. All right, let's get into the game that we know Everybody's been talking about here. Yes, sir. Ho, ho, ho. The Huskers playing host to the 17th ranked Fighting Illini of Illinois. Yep. Illinois. 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 <laughs> uh, where the Huskers are the home dog. Seven and a half point home dog. That's a 230 kickoff on ABC. Yeah, Andy. Uh, like you said, our, our Husker boys coming in. Home dogs. Uh, after a week off. Yeah, after a week off. 50 and a half over under, Andy, is what most books are sitting at. Yep, yep. Yeah, Illinois, 6-1, and one, having a very good season, ranked number 17th in the country. They're also 5-2 and two against the spread this season. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the the defense, I guess, is what their hanging hat is. It's, it, <laughs> everybody's calling it a brick wall, one of the best defenses in the nation. Yeah. I think they're ranked number one in the nation in defense, uh-huh. but that's according to the teams that they played. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I am tired. <laughs> I am tired of people coming up to me and tell me that this is such a great defense. This is such mm-hmm. a great team. They're ranked number 17th in the country. <laughs> I don't care. This is a run of the mill Big Ten average team, Andy. This team lost to Indiana. I we know. beat I, Indiana. Okay, okay. We beat Indiana. They only put nine points up on Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa's got a great defense. Yeah, yeah, Iowa's got a great defense. According to who? Uh, but yeah, Andy. I, I don't oh, see th- any I, – I, I get that this team is better than us on paper and uh-huh. everything, oh, yeah. but we have no reason to be scared to, about this team. We have no reason to think we can't win against this team. Okay. And I really, really am hammering the seven and a half of free points that the books are giving us. We're keeping it within that, no doubt. Are, do you, are you? Would you go as far as to say the books have the wrong team picked here? Or are you just no. liking the points? No, I, I agree that Illinois should be picked, but I mm-hmm. believe it should be by two and a half, three points. Yeah, and uh, seven and a half in our home stadium, I think, is way too many for them to well cover on us. And the 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 odds makers got this one right as far as setting a line because right now you're seeing a split. Uh, half and half of the money going in on the Huskers, yeah. the other half going in. So it's right down the line. For all the things you, you said there, um, I think the Huskers can cover this, stay within a touchdown at home. They, they've been doing that the yeah. last four years. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll stay within the point spread. For sure. Um, and and they'll, they'll make things interesting. They'll keep things close. I really like that they've had a week off to not only get healthy, mm-hmm. um, but to get in and, and study some film. This is going to go a long ways for Mickey Joseph, the interim coach. If you want to take control, be in the driver's seat as far as retaining that job, yeah. Here is a spot for you to knock off uh, uh, an opponent that's in the West, Con- you know, the yeah, Big the West. Ten West. All right, and they're, they're ranked. ranked, and they're ranked, and you're not supposed to win. In fact, you're over a touchdown dog. Exactly at home. Yeah. If if okay, so here it is. It's on a silver platter, and I think the boys are rallying around Mickey. So even if they can't pull that off, 
this victory off at home, I think they can keep it within seven and a half points as well. No, agreed, Andy. The Huskers are playing better. Everybody has to understand that that they're playing better. They might have lost, you know, last week or you know, week uh, two weeks ago to Purdue, yep. but the passing game opened up huge. In the ground, uh, you know, I, I just I, we need to get some type of running game going. It's going to yes. be tough. It's going to be know. hard against this Illinois team. But if we can do that, Illinois isn't going to run away with this game. They do not score a lot of points. So no, they're a rushing team. A good, good rushing team. Good though. rushing team. But I believe that they are not going to get too far ahead of us. That Casey and the boys and Trey Palmer can't get something going yeah. and really cover the spread and give us a chance to win late. That's all I, we can ask for. Being an underdog yeah. here. So Andy, if. Uh, if if everybody's with me, if the big red's behind me, the money line for this game for the Huskers oh, yeah. at plus two thirty five right now. You are betting a hundred dollars <laughs> to receive two thirty five off that risk. I think it's a no brainer. It's uh you know it's it's one of the best ones of the weekend. All righty, all righty. Um, so you heard the horn there. That means we're up against it. But do you have a parlay play? I do, but you're gonna have to stick around for the ah, next segment. Oh man, because <laughs> it's gonna involve a lot of the teams that we are covering in the next four games. All righty, folks. Well, let's take a quick minute to recognize one of our fabulous partners. That is Play Action Pools, as they're revolutionizing group hosting platforms. Make it your new spot for all your football and NBA basketball. Yeah. Contest needs. Play today at playactionpools.com. Don't go in there, folks. This is WTL. <laughs> 